WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavino for TFNN. A quick 30-second commercial for the live trading we're going to be doing from between 8 and 11 on Friday with a big crop report due at around noon. So we won't be involved with that, but we do have the 8.30 events that we'll be looking at. This chart I received from our good friends Enzo over in Italy, Calabrese, and uh, he just wanted to show me the 3.82s in the crude oil. And this is one of the things that we'll be focusing on in our live trading here, I just highlighted it to show you how accurate each one of these were. This is a 30-minute chart over the last 10 days, folks. And those of you that were bullish crude oil during that time, you might have uh, had a, some fun doing that. Now, I've been asked to take a look at three stocks here this morning. First, we're going to start out with Apple. Um, I know they're the same stocks, but people keep asking me. I'm going to give you my two cents worth. We had the third highest volume ever. On this day of the gap up that stopped exactly at the 61% retracement, everybody that bought it over the last four days, well, the people that bought it a couple days later might have a small profit, but anybody bought it on that first day now has a loss. Now, that means something because there's a huge gap up in here. And look at look what happened here when you had this gap here, this little island reversal. That could be really, really nasty. The next one that everyone asks about is our good friend Tesla. Tesla here also is a market that looks extremely negative, folks. You'll see this little tiny 382 rally right here. That's a from there to there. That's a 382 rally. We'll blow that up so you can see it. There it is. We'll just draw it in so you can see it. And now we have left another island. If you'll notice here, oh, actually it goes to the 50. It goes three dollars higher. It goes to the 50 percent. My mistake. Look at this. We gap down again. Everybody bought it over the last week is now losing. I mean, that's those are not good signs for stocks. And then finally, here's Google, who's been the leader of the pack. Everybody bought it on this big day where it gapped up. It still has a loss. All we did today is to rally up to a 50% retracement. And uh, so this these, these don't look good to me. But, you know, it's still early in the game. And a lot of things can happen, as you know. So let's keep, up, keep in mind that's what we're watching. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Shane Spullian is our guest. 